doesn't feel real yet, but I think hopefully by tonight it feels real. Um, if I'm lucky enough to get selected, just pure excitement for whatever opportunity presents itself. Well, g'day and welcome to another edition of Sports Legends with Bevo. Today we're down at the home of the mighty West Adelaide Bloods, Heisen Stadium, and what a pleasure it is to be joined by one of their young guns, very likely to get picked up in tonight's mid-season draft, Joshy Carmichael. Great to have you on the show, mate. Thanks, mate. It's good to be here. So, uh, mate, you must be absolutely buzzing. You know, you mentioned before you've got about eight or nine clubs that are, have been talking to you in, in recent times. Um, what would that feeling be like to be picked up you know, by an AFL club and, and live your childhood dream? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's every kid's dream to sort of get picked up in, in a draft and play AFL footy. So, no, nah, it's just, yeah, it doesn't feel real yet, but I think hopefully by tonight it feels real. Um, if I do, am lucky enough to get selected. But, yeah, no, nah, just pure excitement for whatever opportunity presents itself. And who did you back for growing up as a kid? Any of the clubs that have been sort of looking at you potentially, any of those clubs? Or? Yeah, so um, I was a mad Tigers supporter growing up. Um, and yeah, when I heard from them, it was pretty exciting. I sort of <laughs> told me, old man, and he, he's mad Richmond too, so he sort of carried on a bit and was pretty excited. So yeah, no, it, it feels sort of a bit surreal. And Dusty Martin's uh, one of your idols. Um, what yeah. is it about Dusty that you, you sort of you love so much and, and makes you sort of want to play your game like as well? Yeah. Uh, What's not to love? Like I love the way he goes about it. He attack. He's a big bull. Uh, the way he fends off. Um, I love how he kicks goals. Like, I just reckon he's a superstar. And yeah, always idolised him growing up. So well, you never know. You might be playing alongside him. Oh, so yeah, you never that. know. That'd be that'd be crazy, <laughs> wouldn't it? And now let's uh, let's talk about growing up because you're an absolute sports superstar. Not just with your with your footy side of things, but you you played table tennis. You, you went overseas for basketball. There's you probably played un underwater knitting. I don't know, like water polo. There's there's nothing you didn't do when you were a kid. So tell us about life in the country in country Victoria and um and what made you choose footy in the end. Yeah, so um, country Victoria. Obviously, you do a bit of cricket and a bit of footy depending on the season. So yeah, I always did. My cricket and footy, I love cricket. That was my first sort of love with sport, um, cricket. And then played table tennis growing up. My, my dad and uncles and that are into, um, into table tennis. And um, yeah, that was something I did every week, two times a week. Loved me table tennis all growing up. My sisters played too, so it's pretty much a whole family thing. Um, and yeah, cricket was my sport that I loved. And then yeah, I, um, when I went to America, I played a bit of basketball over there. Um, but yeah, I, I gave everything a crack. Um, there wasn't much I didn't try to play, like tennis, everything. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I'd just have fun with it all. Like, just wanted to play as much as I could and, yeah, just love sport. And, and footy, what sort of made you choose that in the end? Um, I sort of, I sort of kind of fell out of love with cricket when I was about um, probably 18 um, and thought I'd take a year off cricket and go up to Darwin and play footy up there. So, yeah, just sort of switched in mindset and thought, um, Cricket, cricket, cricket's a bit of an annoying game because if you get out, you're done for the day. But um, with footy, um, you always get that second chance. And yeah, it's just something that I love the adrenaline, love the rush. So yeah, it's just something I fell in love with and um, wanted to just keep playing. Well, you made a good choice, averaging 24 possessions, five clearances and kicked nine goals. So it's a yeah. pretty good year so far <laughs> yeah. for the Bloods. And, and how did you actually end up at West Adelaide? Um, so it was through... Um, Derek Bonner and Adam Hartlett. So I think um, Adam got Derek onto me. Then Derek flew up to um, flew up to Darwin to meet me. I had a few conversa good conversations with him, and he was very supportive um, through the journey. And yeah, it got me down here because um, I knew Adam previously. So I dare say he got Derek onto me. And then yeah, no, Derek was very helpful in getting me down here, and I sort of made it made it happen. Um, and yeah, he now's now. Adam's a, a good fella and a, a larrikin as well, isn't he? Yeah, so. he is. He carries on a bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, in terms of uh, in terms of this year um, playing for the Bloods, obviously the, the season itself uh, hasn't gone to plan so far. Got a very young side, and um, there's been some good signs. But um, have you seen the sample competition? You know, has it met your expectations? Has it has been even better than what you thought it would be? Yeah, um, obviously the sample competition is incredible, and there's a lot of class acts that play in it. Um, and yeah, it was sort of one for me, I didn't know what to expect really, coming from country footy and playing footy in Darwin, um, knowing how good the sample is, um, yeah, but it is that next level, the standards, the training, um, yeah, the way everyone goes about it, it's a very professional system and um, if, it's, if the um, AFL system's anything to go by the sample, then I reckon it'll be in good stead because, yeah, the sample's a very professional system and it's a very good comp. 
And you had the uh, amazing pleasure of playing for the state, which is well deserved, obviously, mind you. Congratulations on that. And, Thank you. And you got the win as well. Yeah, so. that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was that like playing, you know, with your, the guys that you play against, but you know, representing the state and also playing with the best play, players in the state, and the best players in Australia too. Some of them. Yeah. No, it was pretty cool. I um. Yeah, I didn't know many of the blokes. Um, I obviously played against them and knew their names, sort of. But, yeah, didn't really know them. But after the trip, I could say I knew all 24 of them. Like, yeah, it was, it was, a, yeah, it was awesome. Like, playing on Optus Stadium, too, was incredible. Um, making bonds with people that, um, yeah, are the best footballers in the comp was pretty special. Um, yeah, making mates. Um, but, yeah, playing with them was still awesome because they're all classy. And, like, it just makes things easier when you get... Um, a 24 of the best footballers to play alongside, you know. Must make training pretty interesting as well. The ball just like wouldn't hit the ground very often, no. I would imagine. So. No, I don't think the old barely hit the ground very often. It was pretty, pretty clean. <laughs> and then afterwards, um, big celebrations when you got the win too. Yeah, yeah, we had a few functions on after that um, in Perth, and we didn't have to leave till the next day. So yeah, had a few beers and a feed and celebrated. Um, yeah, it was always cool to play for your state, but to win against another state is also pretty. Pretty exciting. And who was best on ground the celebrations after the game? Oh, probably Riley Knight because he had a win on the on the tables. So <laughs> that, that's always good. <laughs> he goes right, Riley Knight. So yeah, no, he's yeah. a good fella. Another one I reckon uh, could play AFL footy. You know, 48 possessions last week for the Eagles in the game. So he's facing. Some... Yeah. yeah, he's a star. Yeah, hope he gets another opportunity in the future. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of um, you know living arrangements at, at the Bloods, um, you live with teammates down here, or what are you doing at the moment? No, so I live at a residential college, so like um, for uni, so it's called Aquinas College. Um, it's in North Adelaide. Yep. Um, yeah, I live there. There's about 180 uni students that go there, um, and yeah, coming to Adelaide, that's been awesome. It's sort of been my life outside of footy. Um, yeah, made so many good mates there, and yeah, I love it there. I played footy at Walkerville back in the day, and uh, oh, yeah, you? quite a few boys from yeah. Aquinas College there. And uh, yeah, you still do. Yeah, great Walkerville. bunch of lads. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And um, imagine tonight as well the celebrations. Uh, if you sort of will, probably you will probably get drafted, I reckon. Um, imagine now uh, you get a few of the boys coming over as well tonight to, to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm going to watch it with just me, mum and dad, and two sisters. But um, I think uh, a few of my mates from back home, a few of my mates from college, and a couple of the Westies boys, um, and a few of my family members are going to watch it all at the pub. And then hopefully um, something to celebrate. I'll rock up there probably after the draft, straight after the draft, and uh, yeah, hopefully see everyone and have something to ha celebrate, have a couple beers, um, yeah, feed and just yeah, sort of let it all sink in because it hasn't like yet. And hopefully there is something to celebrate tonight. Yeah, fingers crossed for you, mate. So. Um in terms of uh, like, what are you studying at the moment and, and everything as well? So, so I'm doing construction management um, full time at UniSA, so that's going good. I, um, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's my first year in it, so I'm enjoying it so far. Um, keeps me pretty busy, especially with footy and a bit of work. I work at a um, pub and bottle shop in West Croydon called the Challer Gardens, um, and yeah, that's good. Um, keeps me doing some money ticking over. So. And have you heard as well, if you do get sort of drafted tonight, would you go over with the next couple of days or next week, or you're not too sure yet? Uh, club to club vary. I think it'll be more of a Friday, Thursday, either tomorrow or Friday, where I'd probably have to... I think the club are pretty helpful in um, helping you get all your affairs and pack it all up and um, help, you, help you shift. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It'll be pretty soon, I, I dare say. <laughs> what a buzz it must be. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going to have a bit of fun with that to finish things off with, Jockey. Okay, so, no um, I know you've only been at, at the club for a short time, but uh, we always like to, what I call, dish the dirt. So, dish the dirt, OK. Um, <laughs> now, who's uh, some of your teammates down at the Bloods that might enjoy a bit of uh, reality television and, and we could see them on reality TV one day, you think? A bit of reality TV, eh? Hey? I reckon Gory. Um, he would absolutely love it. He would thrive in the system. Um, Bit of drama, um, yeah. I reckon he'd be good on reality TV. Big, big brother or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like. yeah. I reckon, yeah. A few people would watch it if Big Gory was on it. It'd be good fun for he'd, it. He'd just have his shirt off the whole time, <laughs> wouldn't he? Surely. I dare say, yeah. He'd keep it off for sure. Um, other than that, I reckon Matt McKenzie would love it too. Yeah. Um, Old Scopo. He'd have his shirt off too. I reckon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, in terms of. Uh, Keeping on those that same kind of subject as well. Um, who likes the mirror at the club? You know, <laughs> bit of a look at myself in the mirror sort of time. Those, those boys or some other guys? Or? I tell you, he actually wouldn't think um, loves the mirror. There's two boys. Oh, there's three boys that come to mind. Um, Tommy Morrish, 
He loves the mirror, loves doing bicep kills in front of it. Jolie Stevens and Reed Stevens. They're the three boys I always catch in front of the mirror, just <laughs> flexing or taking little snapshots. Um, Jolie, Reed, and Madge, yeah, they love it. They, you can't keep them away. Sometimes everyone's leaving training, they're there just doing bicep kills, taking photos, little rat pack. <laughs> love it. And uh, who would be one of the biggest nerds at the club, Joshy? Um, footy nerd or yeah. normal nerd? Yeah. Footy nerd. Um, Jordan Boyle loves footy. He loves the stats, loves all the ins and outs of footy. Um, knows a lot about... I remember we were driving back from Loxton and we were talking about the, um, like all the AFL-listed players and he was pretty switched on to that and knew a lot about everyone, so yeah, I reckon he loves his footy. Charlie Allen likes his footy too. Um, and general nerds at the club? General nerds. Um, oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Um, not that I know not of. Not that of? No. No, nah, just footy nerds. I know yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. And what about the uh, the funny teammates, the ones that, you know, the real characters at the club? Ah, uh, funny teammates. Who's funny? Jolie Stevens reckons he's pretty funny. Um, told a joke in front of the group the other night, probably not, not good to repeat now, <laughs> but yeah, no, he's pretty funny. Have a good laugh with him. Um, who else is funny? No, nah, not many funny blokes. No, nah, every, everyone's pretty good. Adam, Adam Hartlett's a bit of a joker. Yeah, that doesn't surprise um, me one bit. <laughs> yeah, he makes everyone laugh pretty often. So, <laughs> And uh, before we finish up, um, I, I better give a big shout out to one of your former coaches, Paddy Irwin, as well. So yeah. uh, he's been influenced on your career in the, in the past, I've been told as well. Yeah, yeah. So um, from Murbane Football Club, um, Tony Hurley, the president, has been massive. In my um, yeah, in my journey, has always had my back, and yeah, Paddy's coached me and looked after me a lot too. Um, yeah, those two have been big in my journey. So and obviously got you this year as well. Yeah, gotchi has been really good this year. Um, he's helped me out like yeah, a lot. He's shown me um, my weaknesses and helped me improve on them. So no, it's been excellent. Well, hopefully, there's not a win too far away for the for the Bloods as well. If you you know keep playing it the way they are, and yeah, even though they'll probably lose you, um, you still feel as though you know they can get a couple of wins this year. Yeah, absolutely. We're doing the right things and we're ticking all the boxes. Um, we got the we got a young, exciting group. So once the penny drop, when we get our tail up, I reckon we'll be we'll be winning a few games for sure. Well, what an absolute pleasure it's been having you on uh, Sports Legends of Bevo, Joshy. Thanks for your time on Thank such you a busy much. day, mate. Cheers, Bevo. And, um, Thank you, mate. Whichever club it is, I'm sure they'll be very lucky to have you, and I'm sure you'll do wonderful things as well, mate. Thank you. We look forward to, to following your journey as well. Appreciate it, Bevo. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>